Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Today we're continuing with the thought of the Christian graces that we began in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5. It says there, add or lavishly supply to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness. And then we come to verse 7 of 2 Peter 1, where he says, and godliness with brotherly affection, or if in some translations, brotherly kindness. Philadelphia, we get our word Philadelphia from that, the city of brotherly love. It literally does mean love of brethren. You know, there is a kind of a Christianity that shows up at church and says, I come here to worship God and I don't have time for visiting with people before and after services. In fact, they're kind of getting in my way, all of these crying babies and everybody else, and I'm trying to concentrate on the worship. They're intruding on my meditation. They're intruding on my study of God, God and his word. And so I find being around people is difficult. And I find that's what that's what a lot of people are doing. They're thinking that being religious is somehow between me me and God and forget the fact that it's all about me and God and the people that God loves. I cannot separate myself from people and think I'm doing God's service. Somebody says, but I'd set aside four hours a day just to pray when so-and-so came by and needed to talk. How about talking with them because that's what God would do? How about spending time with them and encouraging because that's what God would do? People are extremely important in your relationship with God. And if you miss that, if you somehow think that it's all between you and God and that no one else has the right to intrude into your life, you're missing the great richness of what Christianity means. There are people today who not just need your prayers, they need your help. Don't forget them. Thanks for watching.